Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to my review for episode 4 of Superman and Lois. The new CW show that seems to be going down so far pretty well with most people who are watching it. Now as I've mentioned on the previous reviews and I have reviewed all the episodes so far in season 1. Um, I am not familiar with any of the DC television shows. I've not watched any of them. To be perfectly honest, so I don't know the history of this character with the CW. I didn't watch him in Supergirl or anything like that. So this show is completely new to me. Um, and I have to say, so far, um, it's been a strong start to this new um, new series of Superman and Lois. Um, I have to say, I've been really, really enjoying it so far. Now, this newest episode is called Haywire. Um, and arguably, I think this is one of the strongest ones so far and I, okay I get that we're only four episodes in right now but I think they're doing a really really good job of um, giving us a new vision of Superman I think it's fair to say I've never seen this vision of Superman put to screen before uh, the family man you know with two teenage sons married to Lewis now we've seen him obviously in the past uh, have a relationship with Lewis even with the new adventures of Superman you know the Dean Cain Terry Hatcher series all them years ago in the 90s which I enjoyed as well I watched that um, but to see him set this way I think is is really refreshing to see and then so far I'm really enjoying the show now what do we get in this episode well as you you know if you've been watching my other reviews Superman and Lewis are back in Smallville they're living there now with their two teenage sons Jonathan and Jordan um, Clark has now consented to Jordan playing football uh, which he was very much against um, initially so at the f football game he's put on the field and he makes an instant impact however uh, Lewis's father the general who is kind of Superman's handler to some degree uh, he's not impressed by what he sees and he's starting to realise that Jordan's displaying some powers and he thinks both Lewis and Superman are being irresponsible so there's a big hoo-ha between them three which leads to the generals to start have some doubts towards Superman which leans on uh, the general uh, Luther thing earlier in the episodes where he warns the general about Superman and the potential dangers he um, presents um, but also some of the things we get in this episode we get Kilgrave that makes an appearance now I'll be honest I don't know much about Kilgrave and maybe he turned up in Superman I'm not really sure but Superman has a bit of a battle with this Kilgrave who escaped the moving, in, the moving prison basically because they're noticing that Superman is not as present in Metropolis as he used to be and this is because he's living in Smallville um, so they decide to move some of the higher ranking prisoners to more secure prisons why they weren't in a secure prison to start with is I don't know but who hey ho it's storylines I guess so they're moving him and he escapes and it leads to a confrontation with Superman um, he puts up a pretty decent fight this Kilgrave he doesn't seem to have any superpowers but he's got like this sonic gun that hurts Superman um, Lana Lang and Lewis Lane have a little bit of a bonding um, session uh, and I don't mean that <laughs> in the way uh, some of you might be thinking they go out for a few drinks together and they kind of start getting on a little bit which was quite nice um, there's a kid at school that seems to be infected with some kind of superpower that seems to be a bit of a theme in this episode Jordan and Jonathan think they can help him uh, which eventually leads to Superman intervening, uh, lending a hand. Uh, we actually see, get to see quite a lot of Superman in this episode, which I thought was pretty good. Um, more than some of the other episodes, I think. And I thought some of the epi some of the effects in the last episode were a little bit dodgy. I thought the effects in this one were back on point again. If I'm being honest, I didn't see any really weak effects. Um, and we finally learn about. Um, this Ed, this this guy's plan. I forget his name now. Um, Edge, I think it is. You know, the guy who's bought the Daily Planet and he's in Smallville doing his business dealings in the mines. We learned about his plan at the end of this episode. Um, Lewis is not giving up the fight uh, in regards to trying to expose this guy, this corrupt businessman, for who he is. Uh, and she confronts him at the mines. Doesn't really get anywhere, but. Uh, she also wants to confront him at like the big town meeting um, but she can't really do that because he's threatening to sue 
Uh, so she wants Clark to do it instead, but he can't do it because he's busy saving the planet, if you like, at that particular moment. So, a little bit of family tension as well going on here. But I thought they, were, they, they crammed quite a lot into this episode, if I'm being honest. We saw a couple of... a bit of tension between Superman and the General, uh, Lewis's father. Uh, battle with Kilgrave. Uh, this kid showing superpowers. This Edge getting more sinister. Uh, as well as the normal family drama stuff. So... A pretty chocked filled episode for the most part here. I, I, I think this is arguably the best episode. And for that reason, I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10, this episode. I think I've given the highest rated one before, this 8.5 out of 10. So I'm just acknowledging that, in my opinion, I think this is a slightly better episode than what we've seen um, previously. Uh, and that's not saying much, I know it's only like point and not even a point up sort of thing but you know what i mean so yeah i mean i'm enjoying this show i'm really really enjoying this show it's it's made me um you know get back into superman so i've started watching and reviewing the superman movies again uh just watched uh and reviewed the new justice league film Zack snyder's justice league film roll on dc let's get back into this um and i'm really looking forward to next week's episode if i'm being honest and if you're worried about this show don't be too worried if you're a fan of superman i think you're gonna love it so thanks for watching everybody i hope you like this review and found it useful i'll be back with more reviews very very soon